Today I'm talking about the Iroquois Confederacy, who were some of the most advanced First Nations groups. Consisting of five separate tribes, they were called the Mohawk, or the Kanyan Kahaka, People of the Flint, the Oneida, or Onyotaka, which means People of the Standing Stone. The third tribe was the Onondaga, or the Onondagaga, People of the Great Hill. The fourth tribe was the Cayuga, or the Geyogo Ohono, People of the Great Swamp. Last, there was the Seneca, or Onondawaga, which means People of the Great Hill. And in 1722, a sixth group joined, and they were called the Tuscarora, or Skarure, People of the Shirt. These six groups lived in the northeastern woodlands. They lived in longhouses, which were large structures capable of having multiple families in one building. The Iroquois mainly ate fish, game from hunting and trapping, and agricultural products. As well as being one of the largest First Nations groups, they also had one of the most advanced government systems, which is the same one that is used in Canada today. The Iroquois' first interactions with the European settlers is thought to have happened in 1609. They had been at war with the Algonquin, one of the Confederacy's enemies, and when Samuel de Champlain, a French explorer, helped the Algonquin during a fight with the Mohawk, he used his aquabus, which is a 15th century long gun, and sent the Mohawk running, bringing an end to the fighting for that day. This encounter helped solidify the Five Nations, giving them a common enemy. But tensions continued to rise with the Mohawk ambushing Algonquin traders returning from Quebec with European goods, but would later subside in the 1960s as the Iroquois began trading more regularly with the Dutch Fort Orange for firearms. With fights starting to break out between First Nations groups and Europeans who were starting to stake countries like Canada and the USA, these factors and more started the downfall of one of the largest and most developed First Nations groups, with their population falling from over 12,000 down to 4,000 in the early 1900s.